So instead of checking out the normal Ubuntu 23.04, like everyone else, I wanted to check out one of the specific flavors that just got resurrected. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And as I stated in the intro, I wanted to check out one of the flavors of Ubuntu 23.04 that was recently released. So everyone else has checked out the normal Ubuntu 23.04. So I figured I'd do something a little different by checking out another flavor that was just resurrected during this latest release. And this flavor is Ed Ubuntu which is a Ubuntu derivative design for education. Now, just to give you a little background, Ed Ubuntu was initially created as a collaboration between the Ubuntu community and education professionals. And it was mainly created to provide a free and open source operating system for schools, homes, and communities. And it also aimed to provide educational tools and software, making it easier for educators to teach and students to learn using technology. Now, let's go down and hop over to the website for Ed Ubuntu. Of course, I'll always have that link down in the description of the video so you guys can check it out. But this is Ed Ubuntu. And it has been an official Ubuntu release for several years, but it wasn't actively maintained until this most recent release of Ubuntu. And with this release, Edge Ubuntu has been revived as one of the official Ubuntu flavors and is back to its glory days. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Now, as you can see on the main page, it says freedom for every classroom, a stable, secure, privacy conscious option for schools. And so it goes through, uh, there's a lot of information uh, that they put on the site. They have a quote from George Washington Carver, uh, education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. So I agree with that quote. Uh, software, you know, library, you take advantage of the same, you know, software library. It does come with a bunch of educational tools on it, pre-installed when you get it installed. And so I want to go down and show you guys you know, you can download it from here. So if you click here, this will download that latest version, the 23.04 uh, Lunar Lobster. And it'll follow that same release from here on out. Uh, and it's being actively maintained now. Now, here's the mission. I just wanted to read this to you guys uh, before we go over and go through the install. And I'll show you guys the desktop environment, what it looks like, and some of the tools that are included. Now, the mission says Edge Ubuntu is a community effort that seeks to bring the freedom of the Linux desktop and the vast library of open source education software into the classroom. And that's specifically what it's created for. And also, you can contribute. It says, uh, want to help make Edge Ubuntu better? Go right ahead. Edge Ubuntu is created by volunteers just like you. Learn how you can contribute. So go over there. You can check out the contribution page and contribute to the code if you want to. And also connect, follow, you know, all that good stuff. But one thing I wanted to point out when you download it uh, before we move forward, if you click download, this uh, ISO is 5.5. 57 gigabytes so it's pretty big like i said it comes with all that software that you need which is super awesome now let's hop over to my virtual machine so i can walk you guys through the install and then we can check out the desktop environment all right cool so let's run through the install i won't take too long showing you guys this it's the same across the board uses this same new installer which is super cool uh super simple to use not that difficult to to follow uh let's just go through it but english is our language so let's go down here connect or continue and then uh keyboard layout boom uh us uh, normal installation which is what i'm gonna do so i can show you guys the tools that are installed 
um, if you do the minimal installation, which is just like across the board on all other Ubuntu uh, flavors, then it won't have all the tools, but the normal installation will have everything. And I'm gonna also do the install of third party software for graphics and Wi Fi and all that good stuff. So let's hit continue, boom. And then uh, I believe it'll start uh getting you to set up the hard drive yeah and that's exactly what it's doing so uh it detects the hard drive you can erase and install add ubuntu which is nothing crazy i gotta do this as a virtual machine so i'm just running it and use the defaults now you can go in set up your partitions yourself uh under something else there are some advanced features you can use lvm as well as encrypt the desktop environment which i'm not gonna do doesn't matter it's not gonna affect the install. It's not gonna affect what I show you guys as far as just the desktop environment and all that good stuff. So I won't do it, it's a waste of time. But let's go down here, install now, and it should allow us to create our accounts after this. And there we go, so location, boom, it picked up my location and then our account. So I'm just do uh, Josh and then Ed UB. That's good. That's a good name for it. And then let's go on and uh, type in our passwords. And actually, let's just put 23 up here as well. So add you, you to 23. Uh, now you can also, you know, add it to Active Directory. That is an option now. Uh, but require my password on login. Yes, you definitely want to check that. So let's hit continue. Go through the install. It'll install. I just wanted to show you guys the process and show you guys how easy it is to get it installed because it's not that difficult at all. And it'll go through, install, put all the software on there for us, and then we'll check out the desktop environment when I get back. All right, so the installation is complete. All you gotta do is hit restart now, or you can continue testing. What I did was I went into the test out Edge Ubuntu, and so I'm allowed to actually use the desktop environment as I see fit without installing it. And that's an option that pops up as soon as you boot up the OS. It'll ask you to test Ubuntu or install Ubuntu and it'll go right into the install. So I just went to test just so I could fix the display settings and all that stuff. So you guys can have a better experience, you know, watching the install. So let's go down and restart it and I'll be back when it comes back up. Okay, cool. So the first thing that'll pop up is basically connecting to your online services. That's only if you want to. You don't have to do this. Uh, if you want to keep your privacy, not connect, uh, which I mean, it works. It, it's beneficial, especially if you want to use a lot of the email tools and other tools that are installed uh, by logging into your online account. That'll get all that information on the system for you. But I'm going to just hit skip. Uh, and then right here, help improve Ubuntu. And this is basically just sending systems information. It's all anonymous. Uh, it's mainly to help them improve the operating system. Uh, you can hit yes. Uh, I'll hit yes by the default. That's fine. And then that's good to go. And then what it'll show is the software you can install. And basically it'll say open Ubuntu software now which I'm not gonna open yet. But the first thing you wanna do when you install any Linux operating system for the first time is open up your terminal. Cause right now it's trying to do the installs or the updates uh, and you can do it there. You can hit install now and it'll do it that way. Uh, looks like we got a bug here. So uh, let's send that information to them. <laughs> Just showing them uh, that something failed. Uh, but anyway, you can run your updates here. Uh, it breaks down the updates, so it's not that many updates, some security updates. Uh, that's the way Ubuntu is set up. Uh, you can hit remind me later. I typically do things in the command line. So let's go sudo apps updates and let's press enter and type in our sudo password and go through and run the updates or they'll check you know if there are any updates for this system and as you can see it's five of them so we can run the upgrade command after that and let's put dash y in there so to go through and install and like it showed earlier it's like some security updates as well as some regular updates to the system that that have been pushed out to the system 
but Ed Ubuntu comes packed with the latest GNOME desktop environment, as you guys can see, and it has several essential education software, making it a perfect choice for educators and students alike. And I wanted to go through and show you guys some of those educational software, and they're broken out by categories, as you can kind of see already in here. Uh, there's an art section, so I'll just kind of go through a few of these, but uh, GIMP, you know, is awesome. <laughs> Libre Cat is there, Tux Paint, Tux Paint Config, if you need to modify it, uh, Inkscape, Draw, but let's go back. And here are some more information right here. This is the Ed Ubuntu Info and Admin Location. Now, this is an important area. Just want to show you guys this, but this is how you can control what's on the system so let's say you have i don't know 20 computers set up you can control all of them using uh this app that's in here is uh the ed ubuntu menu administrator or administration you can go through and turn on apps turn off apps you know all that good stuff but first thing is x ubuntu that'll bring up the browser and then uh here's the installer of course but let's go down and open up that menu right fast so you guys can see but like i said you can go through and turn on turn off different things and it has the administrative password on there so no one that doesn't know the administrative password or doesn't have a pseudo account can make changes to it you can turn off you know a lot of different things in here uh and you can turn on certain things uh as you can see the ones that are checked or hidden uh so that's all hidden and you can go through and hide certain things you don't want people to see or people or the kids to use. You know what I'm saying? So let's go down and close that out. I just wanted to kind of show you guys that menu so you guys can see. But under games, there are a few games. So Blinken, uh, and I know that's not educational, but there are some games. Um, now, language and learning. So Calibre, you can connect to the Calibre server, you know, read books, you know, all that stuff. Ebook editor ebook viewer canagram uh let me see uh gabi uh k hangman so you can play that game or whatever learn languages by you know learning words uh scribus uh pdf mod you can modify pdfs uh ulcc as well now let's go down and close that out but just want to show you guys that under the language and then one other tool i want to show you guys is g brainy so that's on here as well i'll go down and open it up but it's uh it's got like a bunch of brain teasers in it it's a brain teaser type type game uh and you basically they have a couple different categories so logic calculation memory verbal um and you can go through and use that it's like brain teasers and stuff like that so let's go back in here um because i wanted to go to mathematics so I have some cool mathematic tools in here. K Algebra, which I've used in the past. Uh, Dia, um, Cantor, uh, KM Plot, uh, Tux Math. So, all is there. You know what I'm saying? G Comprise. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Let's go down and open it up and see what it is. But, and it looks like it's taking a while to come up. So, I'll just let it keep going until it actually opens up. But, let's go into science right fast. Uh, just show you guys. So, uh, Atomix, uh, Chem Tools, Stellarim, uh, Rocks, uh, Lightspeed, Step, uh, Calcium, so some calculus tools, so that's that's super cool. Uh, now, Social Science, so Graphs, uh, Geography, Tools, uh, and Technology, so we got uh, Fritzing, uh, K-Touch, uh, K-Turtle, uh, Laby, uh, Tux Typing, and Clavero. So that's there as well. Um, and then all your normal tools that you would have on Ubuntu. Now let's go see what uh, this actual uh, G Comprise is. Okay, welcome to G Comprise. You're running G Comprise for the first time. You should verify that the application settings or in the language is set correctly. Yes, and it is. So we can X that out. But do you want to download the following external X? X uh, assets you can so voice and language and I don't want to go through this uh, and make this a whole thing but um, let's just wait until it finishes I just wanted to bring it up so this is a tool looks like for kids uh, so I'm assuming it's some training I'm not gonna go through it like I said I never heard of that that before uh, but 
just show you guys they got dictionaries on here pretty much anything and everything you can think of educational is on this version of ubuntu and just show you guys the current kernel so you name dash a let's press enter boom and you'll see that we have 6.2.0 that kernel is loaded on the system so it's using that latest stable version of the linux kernel on its operating system so whether you're a student or a teacher ed ubuntu can help you create a learning environment that is tailored to your needs and with Ed Ubuntu, deploying Ubuntu in classrooms, homes, and communities should be more accessible. So that's all for the video. I hope this brief introduction of Ed Ubuntu has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. Go down and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about this Ubuntu derivative, make sure you stay tuned for my next video where I'll dive into the latest version of 23.04. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techy.